We had a really interesting project where we were trying to make their thinking visible a little bit. We did it in two ways. One, um, we were on Knowledge Forum and we asked them to draw the ideal habitat of a salmon. So what would that look like based on all of the learning we've done so far? What would be ideal for salmon? There was about a week between that experience and the following one using all the materials we had in the classroom, so all types of building materials and math manipulatives, um, they were asked to build the ideal habitat alongside what the current habitat looks like. This is the ideal habitat, so this is how it should be. And then there's a, there should be a lot of trees. So here's some uh, batches of eggs, then we here's some salmon. Then we have another batch of eggs, another batch of eggs. So this is, I think, like an otter these bears, lots of bears, and then there's a sea snake that also can eat the, this, like this is an adult salmon guarding all the eggs. And we really got to see their thinking come alive in that. And the salmon, they don't really like heat, so, and they like like cool water, so we make curvy river so the sun doesn't like shine directly on them. They were using the terminology like alvin or predators or protection or habitat or uh, lamprey and these types of words as if it was just part of their natural vocabulary. This is what it is now. These are a batch of lamprey. They are like uh, uh, fishes but they have like these giant mm, mouths that look like a tube and they have like sharp teeth. We saw a lot of evidence of them pulling information from all these different sources that we had access prior to. And there is a picture of lamprey right here. That is sea lamprey. And there's American brook lamprey. It was a really great way for them to really consolidate all the pieces that they were wondering and, and pulling from. The see-through pieces are plastic floating through the stream. And the white is salmon and the black are land preys, and then the, these are dams, and this is um, where the salmon like to lay their eggs. This is what their habitat should look like, and we included trees because it gives them oxygen. And also, what this is one is a curvy river to yeah. make to keep the water nice and cold, and this one, when it's straight, um, it may it 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 get gets. Why can't the people just build their house beside the Kirby River? Because they're literally hurting themselves by cutting down the trees that we that they need to breathe in. And also, why can't why can't you live here? I would be excited to live in this space. Yeah. Because it's Kirby, and the, I I can see all these animals flying around. And if my house was here, I would be excited because there's so many trees around that I can play with.